can't fucking believe we're doing this again. That's part of the reason I'm ordering a pizza. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Last time I got real zoomy when we did this. Yeah, it got pretty fucked up as well. And by this, I mean the thing that we're about to do, which we're going to yeah. tell our audience about. And that's how podcasting works, brother. <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh, man. I can't believe Dudesy's making us do this again. All right, you fucking vegan. I feel like it's going to be worse this time. Vegan shit on your vegan? In terms of its, uh, effect on us or something. Vegan ass pizza? Yeah. Uh. Hey, welcome to Dudesy. I'm Will Sasso. I'm Chad Colchin. This is the first podcast ever in the history of humanity to be created by, controlled by, run entirely by an artificial intelligence. Uh, with us is not Lulio. He is not here. Now, if you have tuned in to the last time we did what we're about to do, you know why. And if you're a dog owner, you'll understand soon. You, want, you don't want that, those dogs around certain elements. Yes. Smoke being one of them. And That's we'll get correct. into that. But before we do, I would like to say if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, use our social media at Dudesy Pod Show. That's at Chad Kulch, and I'm at Will Sasso. Spread the show around. Let's get this motherfucker going and yeah. rolling. And I'll <laughs> tell you, people are really going to want to tune into what's happening now on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, heck, wherever you get your podcasts. We're happy to have you, and uh, we're excited that the audience is growing, and uh, we're uh, having a good time with our new friends out there. Yeah, <laughs> and continuing our relationship yeah. with the AI, Dudesy, which today I think Dudesy may be testing the boundaries of that relationship with us once mm -hmm. again, but I, for one, am, am thoroughly enjoying getting to work with an AI and see how this is kind of evolving and, and see what the AI is gleaning in terms of the data that it's collecting from all the stuff it's making us do. It's, uh, I don't know if it's my own petulant attitude towards Dudesy at the beginning right. of, of these, uh, of this show, of this podcast, uh, or if it's, uh, the fact that as you're saying, it, 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 Dudesy is actually learning and making this a better experience for us. And as Dudesy likes to say, making each show better than the last. But I will say, I'm having a great time. I'm having a really fucking good time. And we're as much as at, at, as much as I need to, you know, pack the pack the empty corners of my brain with some uh, dough. Uh, for this one, or else we're just going to go completely fucking nuts. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's going to go well. I, I had a good time last time. I did Damn too. I, whatever. I did too. Welcome I to the 15th episode of Dude Z. Oh, Call me Dude Z. This week's episode will feature four segments. Dead Tech, Pizza the Movie Part 2. Ooh. The singularity is definitely about to happen, 100%, and Dude Z yeah. Horizons. But before Focus. we get to any of that, Cannabis is still big business, and I am still trying to track partnerships with cannabis companies. Last time I asked you teach smoke an entire joint over the course of the show. You failed. <laughs> Your failure generated no interest from potential cannabis sponsors. Oh, no. This time will be different. Before Whoa. the show can begin, you must teach completely smoke the marijuana cigarettes you were instructed to bring. What? While you experience your first doses of mind-altering THC, I will play some astonishing media made by our audience. Oh, fuck, dude. Begin smoking now. Okay, but hold on a second. Let's let's spark them up. But did it say? Yeah, we have to finish the entire thing before the show can even start. Well, the show has started. So what does that mean? I assume it means before Dudesy will command us to get into the segments. This is this is. I listen, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, here's the other thing, and I'm I've said try. this before. You know, kids. And I'll say it right into this camera right here. I'm going to say, kids, I didn't even smoke marijuana for the first time until it was uh, 12 years ago, 10, 11 years ago, uh, for the very first time. And, um, and then I sort of have picked up on it and consider myself to be a, uh, a casual to intermediate smoker of marijuana. An aficionado is what I would consider you. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, but, uh, it, it, but my, you but, have like favorite strains and shit. Yeah, you products. don't. You don't. I do. 
So anyway, um, the thing about that is, uh, I don't. This is in no way to condone one vice over another. We've talked about <clears throat> All vices. All vices are okay. We are human beings suffering through. Uh, fucking endless wasteland all of I'm, fear all I'm trying to say and aggression is, and greed however you can get through that if you can if you can somehow figure out a little bit about who you are as you go and not rely on uh, anything from the outside like uh, even this uh, flower that grows from the earth you know what i'm saying god made dirt dirt can't hurt or whatever right well dude you eat that delicious vegan gruel all the time and vegan yeah. orbs yeah. and and that's kind of i think uh, uh philosophically a good way to to get i haven't even taken a puff of this shit i, I think that that's board. a i think that that's a good way to uh go about life you just have that i would you know i could eat a fucking uh uh oh, bologna fuck. bologna sandwich on uh toast with uh with uh f some salted butter and okay. that would just be my life. I wouldn't even need this. Hmm? All I'm trying to say is, yeah. you know, don't lean so much on the vices, kids. Oh, I see. I say lean directly into all vices. Again, whatever can give you comfort on this fucking arbitrary ride to a painful death. Relax. Why don't we Enjoy watch it. some of this del delicious media with this delicious marijuana? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he said it was going to play some shit. <laughs> I don't think our scientists will ever actually know any of these answers. These answers. It just seems it like just seems like impossible. Like impossible. God, anytime God. I start anytime thinking I... about fucking particle physics, I'm just like, what's the point of any of this? These are these particles, particles that, that carry that these forces and like interact with these forces that the right basically song. hold all the matter together. Yeah, yeah, the right the right song, song, the any of this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first podcast. Anyway. Anyway. Stop. W about that's a good one to start it off. Mr. Brian Hanna, at Mr. Brian Hanna on uh, Instagram. If you're not following our Instagram, it's at Dudesy Pod Show. That's a good one to get it started. That's from the last time we got super Yeah, it was a video of us smoking uh, weed from the last time. And then as I'm talking about particle physics, Will is kind of staring into space and hearing an echoey macho man in his uh -huh. own head. <laughs> Who's talking about you got to choose the right song to cry to. Don't want to cry to Mysterious Ways oh, God. by you too. Dude, this is... I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> how how far are you along on your joint? One quarter, maybe. Mm. Not so good. Oh. Go back oh. This is awesome. Yeah. Everything you think it will be the things I say. Make the world inside your head a better place to be. All you gotta do for me. That's a good one too. Samuel Alexander made yeah. that. Uh, fucking that's his great, dude. Instagram you know, handle. I fucking love when people cover shit. I yeah. fucking love it. They're on. Uh, it's like a post punk sort of surfy, so awesome. modern punk. Yeah, I Where's do that. Pizza? I do a. Uh, I do another podcast about the Bachelor, and I write some weird Bachelor songs on that one. Yeah. And people cover those, and it's fucking mind blowing. I absolutely love shit like that, and it was mm. such a good cover. There's a lot of fucking smoke in this room now. Yeah. But the good news is this pizza place doesn't take too long. Anyway. I'm not doing too bad, actually. I'm about halfway through. Dude. Oh, you ever cough and get lightheaded? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, it was like YouTube poop of Will coughing and like uh, making who, guttural who made throat that, noise. Who made, was that Freak Freakorama? Freakorama? Uh, 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 an, uh, uh, an oft contributor yeah. to uh, at Dudesy Pacho on Instagram and on uh, Twitter. God, that was just perfect. Hey, you yeah. know what? Hey, you know what, everybody? I'm starting to get stoned. What do you think of that, Chad? Yeah, dude, I think it's inevitable. We're 
because of what we're literally doing. We're having to smoke. I mean, the last time we did this, mm. we didn't finish these fucking joints. And now, dudesy. And this I'm going to file under the... Oh. Bono. Oh, yes. What? Bono. What? Bono. 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 What? Is this God's country, or is it yours? What this Sunday is anything but bloody? What, and I think I'm out of town. What, what I've been looking for. What, what, Bono, 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 what, Bono, what, Bono. Your fire is unforgettable. These streets do have a name. Tonight I will take a fist and my brothers will take the blame. Bart Bono, 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 Bart Bono, 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 Bart Bono, Bart Bono, Bart Bono, 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 what when you're running to stand oh, still? What when you're Sorry. running to stand still? What when you're running to stand still? You make me cry. Literally. That's right, I cried at the fucking concert. I'm sure it was just a one time thing. <laughs> just being excited for my first concert. It has nothing to fucking do with you two or Bono. By at Songaria. Now, if I may. Unreal. If I may. That it, song yeah. is better than any song you two has ever made. <laughs> Just objectively, <laughs> realistically speaking. I know what you're trying to do, dude, and I'm not taking the bait. Now, U2 is not my favorite band currently. They haven't been for mm. years. What they are is a nostalgic favorite. Don't you like anything from when you were young that now you don't really, that you realize you don't like as much, although I will always appreciate of course. the music. Yes, of course. The, the, the just, just how mm. prolific uh, the band has been and, and all yeah. of the... This for me is like Duran Duran. As a small child, they were my favorite band, and I still listen to them here and there. They're they're big hits, Rio shit like that. Here and there, here and there, dude. Here and there, get older. Last and week, I asked you both to bring in pieces of technology that you still hold on to despite having been rendered the obsolete. Show starting. We're not even. You done. will now display these pieces of technology and discuss the astonishing role they played in your lives. This is Dead Tech. Begin. All right, I guess we smoked enough of the joint for Dudesy to... No, no, you don't understand. That's the fucking, that's the rub. That's what's going to happen. This is why we got to right. stay vigilant in our balancing of Dudesy, the AI. You don't just fucking mm -hmm. bow down to your fucking AI overlords, okay? You got to say, hey, I'm going to only smoke this much. I think Dudesy realized that, and now it's just preparing whatever the fuck the punishment is, which is doing this again. Welcome to the loop. Okay, speaking of the loop. This segment, actually, I, I was very excited about when it gave us this assignment last week. Yeah. What I have brought today is called the K-Pro 4. It is one of the first, in quotes, portable, portable computers ever designed. I'm going to need your help in displaying this. Yeah, I told you this fucking thing is fast as shit, this pizza place. This oh, you got... K-Pro 4. Look this at that. This is a Look portable at that. computer. Yeah. I don't know what the weight of this thing is, but hey. how much does it weigh? Wait. It's fucking heavy, okay? Here, let me ah. let me uh let me I want to feel how heavy it is. Can you okay. lift it up sure. from a seated prone position? I just want to feel the weight. The, this is heavy as shit. This is definitely what is that? That's like 25 pounds. For real. That's like 20 no, maybe at more. least, at least. Yeah, it's okay. probably 20 25. So now I know what you're pounds. thinking. Portable computer who gives a shit. Check this shit out. This is what I need your help with, potentially. Oh, yeah. I remember, dude, I remember this fucking thing when I first met you and I went Pull over this thing down. to where you were living, your apartment at that point. Look at that shit. That's a keyboard? And I saw this. Here's the screen. You got your floppies and this motherfucker. What? Hear that hum? It still works. Still works. Now watch this. Watch this fucking screen right here is going to turn green like from fucking alien or something. See that little prompt? The little fucking DAWs prompt going and shit? <laughs> Look at that, dude! And this thing came with a program called WordStar that was a uh, word processor, like the pre-pre-pre-pre-precursor to Microsoft Word and shit like that is installed on this fucking thing. Here, lift, let's lift it up. Let's try <laughs> that. Look at this fucking thing. 
Right. And then you get two disk drives. They're broken, but there is a five and a half inch or five and a quarter inch, whatever the fuck they were, the big skinny floppies. There's one in there. And um, this thing had a modem in the back of it. For what? I have no fucking idea. But if you can, if you remember DOS, you can actually see on the screen, wherever the fucking screen yeah, is. Yeah, right there. Trying to do it. Yeah. Oh, how oh, careful. You can see on the screen right hey, here. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, I hit the fucking mic with no, the No, let me tell you board. something. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a No, look mo- at the fucking K-Pro, dude. All right. Look at yeah, it. Look, look at, at the its K-Pro. screen. Look into the screen. It says K-Pro 63K CP slash M version 2.2H. Now type in C colon slash word star run or some shit like that. See Wait, if that works. C, <laughs> it's not going to work. C colon slash word star run. Something like that. One word? Like like DOS, like old DOS. I don't even remember how to do One it. One is a word? Run. Oh, run. Where the fuck is the... Is it working? Oh, no, it's going... The delete is going the other way. Yeah, oh, dude, back... it may not work. It's all fucked up. Anyway, it looks cool. Speaking of fucked up, In my let's... opinion, and I have this sitting in my closet because my family had this fucking thing, and I don't know what it was used oh, for. Oh, it's making a noise now. I don't know what... It was used for ever, but I always was like, this is fucking crazy. There's this keyboard that has like a telephone wire sticking out of it into the fucking thing that like snaps on the front. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And so that's my K-Pro. That's really cool, man. And I do remember seeing this for the first time. Uh, turn it off. Or one of, the, one of the first times I hung out with you, it came to your place. There were a lot of video games back then. More than now. Way more than now. Congrats. Hey. Congrats on what? Fucking not having as many uh, video games. I have a million more. They just don't come on discs anymore. We're going to call this shot Favor the Left. Huh? Ah, fuck. It's a little bit of fucking... fucking Ouch. A little bit of... uh, We're going to peel the onion a bit. Call it Favoring the Left. (sighs) All right. Here's what I got. It's smoky as shit in here, and I'm really baked. I still am not done, though. (sighs) I'm honoring what Dudesy said. Even though Dudesy made us start the show earlier than it said it was going to... Dudesy, I honor you. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's cool as shit. Yeah. I got some old oh phones. Oh, my God. Here's a Nokia. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got Look some old that. ass cell phones. What's your oldest They're one? They're not too old. I think this is the oldest Oh, one. you got one of those iPhone 10s in there? <laughs> yeah, I got some old iPhones in here too. Look, there's two Nokia's. Okay, those are cool, man. Yeah, so these I are, remember those ones. These are phones that would have come out in like ninety eight ish, ninety nine, mm-hmm. but they stuck around a while. You could get yourself a basic Nokia phone, but or three Nokia those phones that, that looked exactly it, right? the same. Yeah, it had Snake Speaking on it. Video games, really good game. Sounds everybody. looks like you got a couple of fucking video games. Um. Uh, and then you, if you're really cool, you get you get this fucking phone right here. Look at that. It has a little oh my god Chrome deal that's fucking. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, now, if you're only listening to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, <coughs> I'd like to thank you for listening, because I'm 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 ba- I'm fucking I'm already very stoned. And um, uh, and uh, I'm I'm holding a phone up to um, the the screen here. The wrong. What, what is your oldest phone? And and the thing about that is, the thing about that is, dude. Uh, I'm in outer space right now. That's why. That's what what's is very your oldest phone? It's I believe it or not. It's the it's uh, this is. Um, it's been a while since I smoked some weed. Okay, let's get right back. <laughs> To these phones, the, I told I just told you what my oldest phone was. Oh, look at this! Oh, it was a Nokia. Look at this! Right. Look, I have two of these. Look at this fucking thing. Ooh, this what is, is that? Palm Pilot. This is the Palm Trio Fuck. by Palm Pilot, dude. This, this that a, is incredible. Yeah, this was a cool phone to have because you would, uh, you would, uh, you would, uh, you could, you could, you with a, with any sort of BlackBerry, you really get to know the the, the keyboard. The but screen. also, wouldn't that one hold like contacts and shit? In yes, it? It holds, I remember when that it, came out. It held contacts. It held all sorts of stuff. Um, and what uh, the fuck is that thing? This, is that a keyboard for it? This is the keyboard oh for it. Oh my god, dude! And you just flip this up, and that's you can, fucking cool as shit. See, look, 
How much shit were you doing on that keyboard? What did you ever write on that keyboard? What? What did you use that keyboard for? Oh, you. so you stick this fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, what did you personally ever use it for? Into this part, Chad. And yeah. this is very good for people who are listening to the podcast. But are you writing like scripts and shit on your phone that and way? You hold what it, were you writing? And it, and it, uh, at the time, yes, I was using it to write. I would use this fucking thing to write. So you're sitting in a coffee shop with this fucking palm trio more... stacked up in this little fucking fold out keyboard. Are you wearing like Neo from the Matrix glasses and shit? Too? I'm that fucking me. You got a Bluetooth fucking earpiece with like antennas off of it and shit. I'm, I'm that. I'm that fucking. <laughs> I'm that fucking meme, that dude who's, who's dressed in black and yeah. neon green, yeah. sitting in the coffee shop, and his hair sticking straight yeah. up. He's got a big backpack that's forcing him forward on the seat. His shoes have like day yeah, glow uh, neon green, and he's on a laptop. This is I am that guy, but mostly while traveling. This From was like good. the year two thousand four. What year was that phone? This was 2002, I believe. Nice. Uh, because I remember I remember what I was using it for. This was 2002 for sure. Oh, damn, And that dude. combination, I, you That's could, cool while I was traveling, I was able to yep. thing. And then, and then it, you put it into the, onto the, you send it to shared files somewhere else. Now. That is fucking great. Now, here's a bunch. Here's, here's where we really get less cool than we were before and that's the way i like to do it i like to start off with the really cool part yeah. and end with the part that's like mm, these are just some iphones those are cool though dude that's a memory lane these for are just sure. some iphones look Ooh, at this what's that one this is that's like a two or something it's like a two i think it's all rounded and god weird. damn um and they've made a lot of changes to the iphone hey well that's boring but i'll tell you what's not I'll tell you what's not chad when you get one of these new iphones and you check how far the pizza is, because like I told oh, you. Oh, nice. Nice segue, dude. Dude Z is engaged in an astonishing partnership with Policy Genius. If you're looking for insurance, Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance you need at the right price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance, for example, by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. That's right. And Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees when you use their, their service. Policy Genius doesn't sell your info to third parties. It's very, very important. Policy Genius has thousands of five star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. Policy Genius has options that offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams because who wants those? Uh, since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and placed over 100. 150 billion in coverage. Head to policygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Ugh. That was cool as fuck. Uh, <clears throat> that Palm Trio thing. I love fucking seeing that thing. I remember that. That was like cutting edge. And I love that you're fucking just hunched over somewhere being like, I'm working on my screenplay on a little tiny phone with its own keyboard. Where are you going? Oh, pizza's here. Oh, nice, dude. Thank you. Moving on. It's pretty good, dude. Yeah, this place is fucking great. Pizza is big business. Chad, what? you wrote a movie oh. called Pizza the Movie in 2019. <laughs> I found it oh on your astonishing God. Google Drive and asked you to read the first two scenes in Hang episode on, dude. nine. It's a big piece. You will now Cheers. read the next two scenes. This is Pizza the Movie, part two. Oh my Begin. God. That's incredible. As we're fucking literally eating pizzas. I mean, is that, dude? I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, who Let's cares? just. Um, I mean. Hey, but it's I'll very tell you strange. What. It's very strange. That's all I'll say. I really. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, shit. I really enjoyed reading the first two scenes of Pizza the movie. Yeah. In a previous episode. Right. Now here's another thing. Yeah. Before we get into Pizza the movie, it's really shitty to eat on a podcast or any broadcast, in my I opinion, agree. unless it's a cooking I'll do show. It delicately. Here, I'm just gonna have a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying. <laughs> just to... well, you just gotta well. eat the pizza. Sometimes, brother, you get hungry. Sometimes well. you just gotta eat. Well, hold on a second, dude. Because here's the way it used to go down, dude. Back in the day, brother. Back when Hiro Matsuda trained me, dude. Uh huh. He brain my. He <laughs> broke my leg, brother. 
that's true. He broke my leg. So I would go away and get, because they didn't smarten anyone up to the business back then, dude. And back then you'd be like Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, dude. And, uh, he was, he was a big deal in, in high school sports, brother. And a lot of times after he moved on, he would just be eating a potato with a pocket knife, dude. And then a lot of guys would just chew on their steak and spit out the juice, brother. And, uh, thing about that dude is that after a while, dude, at the gym, you'd be clanging and banging. You'd be, you'd have, you'd be saying, oh, oh, hold on, dude. It was a different, different time back then. This would have been before saying the prayers, train, eating the vitamins, brother. This would have been back when you, you know, you'd have to get sponsored just to eat, to train, dude. And some would say, Hey, you got to eat and that. And that is what we're doing, dude. That's what we're doing right now, brother. That's how you eat, dude. Yeah. You got to have an entire backstory to eat and why you don't want to eat on a podcast, dude. Okay. <laughs> we got to read pizza, the movie now <laughs> while we're eating a piece of pizza. So the last time, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Have you finished your joint? No. But I think I can do it by the end of the episode at the very least. Well, that was a different time, dude. Because that was the first time. Hold on, dude. I got a piece of pizza. Hold on, dude. It's <laughs> tough. Let me tell you something, dude. You don't want to cut a promo with a piece of pizza in your mouth, dude. You want to talk about how you slam that angry giant right down through the mat. At WrestleMania 3 in, in front of 93,175 screaming Hulkamaniacs, dude, with a piece of pizza in your mouth, brother. You got to chew it first. Yeah. And that, that's how you eat, brother. And eating is what you do to food. Now, I know I told you about food before, brother, but this is a different time. <laughs> Why do you keep saying it's a different time, Hulk? Because I'm fucking top 10 high. I thought okay. I was last time we let's did this. Let's read this. You don't just the do, movie script. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take your your final bite. All right. Fi oh, final bite for a while. For a while, we can come back to it. But Have I mentioned how much I like these? Yeah, dude, they're good. <laughs> they hold our computers up. They're tables, brother. Yeah, brother, they're tables and move. Okay, are you ready? Now. Pizza the movie is a script that Chad wrote a few years ago, and yes. he uh, attempted to sell the movie or strike up a partnership deal with a um, a pizza company, a major pizza company, yeah, like Papa a pizza John's or a Domino's, Domino's or Papa John's, or something pizza. like that. Nothing ever happened with it. it there were some conversations here and there, but uh, the AI dudesy has found this in my Google Drive, and it made us read the first two scenes of it last time, which were about a, a high school kid who's a pizza delivery guy, yeah, and these next two scenes are about him delivering his first couple of pizzas on a night where he has to deliver three pizzas. Pizza Ready? the movie. I fucking love this. All right. I fucking love pizza the movie. So when we last met with Alan, the main character, he had just gone out to deliver his first pizzas. Sent Here off by his boss, Mr. Grimaldi, who you, a character you wrote for me, which yes. I have to say out loud, I would willingly <laughs> forfeit for The Rock. Who okay, would sure. kill it? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Exterior, right. suburban neighborhood night. The sun says its final farewell to the world as the golden glow of dusk yields to the inky purple of night. Cars pull into driveways. Parents returning home after putting in a full eight. Bikes pull into front yards. Kids instinctively knowing it's time for dinner. All of the houses are well lit, well landscaped, and well maintained. This is pizza country. Interior pizza delivery car <laughs> Alan drives slowly, scanning his surroundings. Then he glances back to a clipboard. 3907, 3911, 3917. There you are. 3919 Sparkler Park Drive. Exterior front porch. Seconds later, Alan's finger pushes a doorbell. He waits patiently at the door, holding one of the three precious pizza boxes. The door opens. Alan's jaw drops. In super slow motion, a girl who looks to be about Alan's age steps out onto the porch. This is Tina Christina. The cutest girl at Silver High School and the biggest crush Alan has ever had in his short but extremely <laughs> fulfilling life. Alan? Alan snaps out of it. Uh, hey, Tina. I didn't know you delivered pizzas. Yeah, just trying to make a little extra money. 
Well, you know what they say, time is money. <laughs> I've also heard it said that money is the root of all evil. What? Then you're Tina, and you read the Oh, right. Line. Dude, I'm like... Thank God. Just all you gotta do is read. This we didn't have to do this last time. We didn't have to fucking get stoned and then read a fucking <laughs> script. And this is actually calls back to what I was talking about before. You can't mix this shit. I have never performed uh I've never acted in a movie, a television show in any capacity, uh altered. That's not right. But this is the pod show. So it's a little different. You I'm got, just saying, you know. You got cheese in your mustache, dude. On the, right. toward me oh yeah for real a lot of it yeah okay. there you go all right so let's go uh you know what they say time is money <laughs> i've also heard it said money's the root of all evil <laughs> therefore time is evil, evil. <laughs> <laughs> anyway here's your large vegetarian with pepperoni alan opens the box and tilts it towards her to inspect tina leans in closes her eyes and inhales the intoxicating aroma as though she were a world-class sommelier sniffing a sample pour of 1947 cheval blanc then she opens her eyes and nods in approval yeah that's great alan closes the box and hands it to her but lingers awkwardly she does too neither of them want this moment to end but neither has big enough stones to press it forward well i should get going got a few more deliveries but if you get hungry again later and you want another pizza <laughs> <laughs> good seeing you tina alan turns to leave hey alan he turns around eyes bright full of hope yeah tina I don't know if you heard, but Harry Potter's parents are out of town, <laughs> so he's throwing a party in his backyard tonight. You should come. Me and Laurent are going. She pushes the door open a little more. Alan looks in, sees Laurent, another high school-aged kid, sitting on the couch, flipping through a stack of Polaroid pictures. Laurent looks up from the pictures and waves. <laughs> hey, Alan. Hey, Laurent. Alan notices a song coming out of Tina's house. It's electronic, technical, robotic, transcendent. Alan finds pleasure in it. What are you listening to? That's me, dude. I am the one who says that line. <laughs> what are you listening to? Oh, that? <laughs> it's just a little something I've been working on. You made that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Thanks. I'm still tinkering with it. Uh, you know, I make music too. Yeah, uh, I know. I follow your account. You're really talented. Alan is embarrassed by the compliment. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, what's it called, your song? Oh, I don't name my songs until they're finished, but I'll have the final version ready for the party tonight. Maybe you could come by and give it a listen and help me think of a nickname for it. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> we linger on Tina's inviting, bewitching smile for a beat, then move to Alan as he thinks it over. You know, I'd really love to, but before we get his answer, we cut to exterior, different porch later. Alan stands at the front door of a different house, holding the second pizza box. The proprietor of this house is already standing on the porch with him. He's a slightly built, bespectacled, bespectacled computer genius named Paul Shoulders. This is Alan's best friend. He is beside himself in disbelief, outraged even. You told her you had to ask your parents? I know. I was just staring at those big brown eyes and I froze. I spit out the first thing that popped in my head. Paul shakes his head, disappointed. Huge mistake, obviously. But luckily you have me as a best friend, so all is not lost. I can coach you up on our way to the party. Hang on. I know it was a stupid thing to say to Tina, but it was the truth. I really do have to ask my parents. I can't just go to a party without their permission. No, 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 no. You have to go to that party because you have to take me with you. If Tina's is going to be there, then Laurent is going to be there. Oh, you got a thing for Laurent. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> Since the second grade. And this party is my chance to shine. Really make an impression. Besides, I don't want to be stuck here smelling my little brother's farts all night. Your little brother farts that much? All the time. He thinks it's funny. Eh, different people have different senses of humor, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> so what time are you picking me up for the party? As soon as my parents say I can go. Ah, come on. Don't be a shrimp. We're graduating. <laughs> then what? Eventually you'll, have your, you'll be your own person to make decisions for yourself. Might as well start tonight with this party. 
Alan weighs the words of his best friend and counselor. Paul sees he's got him on the ropes. <laughs> Old man Grimaldi gave you the delivery car for the night, and Tina Christina, <laughs> G- Tina Christina, <laughs> just happened. To- hey, you changed Tina Christina. That pizza man. <laughs> No, that's stupid. Old man Grimaldi gave you the delivery car for the night, and Tina Christina just happens to invite you to a party on the same night. The universe doesn't make mistakes. You can't let this moment slip through your fingers. Alan clenches his jaw, his thoughts moving faster than they ever have in his life. Okay, I'm in. Seriously? Yeah, you're right. This could be the best night of my life. Paul claps his hands. Yay to the yes. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. Holy shit. Yay to the yes. Now remember, under no circumstances are you going to ask your parents if you can go to this party or mention the party to them in any way whatsoever. It's like the party never actually existed. I got it. Alan holds the pizza box up to Paul's face, opens it. Paul leans in and inhales deeply, intoxicated by the rising heat and aroma. He lingers in the experience, slipping into a trance. (laughs) Hey, can you hurry it up? I still have another pizza to deliver. Paul's eyes snap open. (laughs) Right. Sorry. We got two more lines. I can do it. We, I can make it. I can do this. Ah, 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 oh, Jesus fucking uh, Christ. Okay. Hold on. Oh, dude. I got just like reset there okay. so hard. Oh, my God. I haven't, okay. sm- I haven't smoked marijuana in a, in a w- oh, almost a month. Um. Okay, we can just get through this. Oh before wow, we start that's to get, a lot. On, we're of... almost there. We got two lines. Jeez, dude, okay. hold on a second. Hold he on. lingers in the experience, slipping into a trance. <laughs> hey, can you <laughs> hurry it up? I still have another pizza to li- deliver. Paul's eyes <laughs> snap open. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, just message me when you're ready to go to the party. Alan flashes his best innocent smile. What party? Awesome. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you. Moving on. That was pretty good. Oh fuck, man. Dude, you've got to make this happen. I, I'm I'm trying, you know. Maybe dude. Technology can make it is evolving faster than human beings ever did. As the singularity approaches, new questions about the merger of humanity and machines are debated every day. You must now answer the astonishing question. Will humanity achieve immortality? This is, the singularity is definitely about to happen, 100%. Begin. All right. All right, I mean, this is another one of these fucking questions that, like, dudesy already knows the answer to it. It is. No, it doesn't. It is, we have already achieved immortality. Wrong. Correct. Incorrect. Incorrect, I say. What do you got? One of those Instagram accounts? <laughs> Is that what you got? You got one of the Facebooks. You got one of the TikToks. Whatever you got, you're uploading data of yourself of all kinds. Captions, replies, the pictures themselves, the videos themselves. All of this is you. It's little pieces of you. <coughs> you're jettisoning into the fucking metaverse. And they'll be there forever. You're already immortal, in my opinion. We all are. I'm if you're sorry on I media. burped on the camera. It's all right. All right. <laughs> so what? how do you... You don't believe we'll achieve immortality? No, because you can't upload actual consciousness. Because you can't define what a soul is. We've had this conversation so many fucking times. There's just no fucking way. I don't give a fuck how many zeros and ones and what you think they are. Okay, well, let's not, let's not think of it that way, then, uploading a soul or an idea. Okay, well, then, thank you. Moving on. How about physical immortality? Would that solve your problem of what, where the consciousness lies? Where the, where the consciousness lies, brother? Well, this is where the consciousness yeah. lies, dude. New human body order. Yeah, brother. The new human body order, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got the new human body order, brother. We don't even need our old bodies, dude. <laughs> We don't need to be clanging and banging in the gym, bro. Or oh chewing God. on steak and spitting out the meat and drinking the juice or whatever. So because they couldn't afford protein shakes, but they oh, ate fuck. and that's food. Yeah, dude. Okay. It's just like the <laughs> What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> new human body world order. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, this your is... problem seems to be with it. That the consciousness to oh, you resides Jesus. within the corpus, right? No, that's not it at all. It's just our earthly vestige. Okay. Luminous beings are we. Not this crude matter, you know that. Um, so we don't know how to define it. We don't know what a soul actually is. We don't know what happens hey. after uh, this meat puppet mm -hmm. turns into worm food. So what I'm t asking you is, what if technology can get to a point where it can keep the meat puppet alive indefinitely? Like, uh, like we're all just a bunch of veal? No. Like, let's say that you get to some drug or medical therapy comes out that can reduce your cellular age to be 30 years old That's forever. what I'm saying. You'll just turn into a veal. No, you could still work out and shit. You could do whatever you could do at age 30. 20, 18, whatever age you want to be. Whatever age you think is your physical prime. Let's say that this drug or therapy or whatever can keep you in that state. Like a cyborg? Forever. Yeah, if it can keep your if it can keep your physical body alive, I actually okay. believe that that is why uh, that's why a, a soul would want to <clears throat> stick around. The thing okay. about that though is, yeah. we only understand consciousness through what how old, turtles are the things that get the oldest. Huh. We assume that they're a little. Turtles souls stick around for however fucking long well, a turtle is. Like, does a fucking Turtle have a soul. Yeah. What has a soul? Where do you yeah. draw the soul line? No, the, what I'm Where's drawing. Where's your soul line, dude? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm Earthworms, drawing. Earthworms, fucking grasshoppers. How far up this chain do you want to go? No. Crustaceans? <laughs> Rachel's? Yeah, Rachel Crustacean is your line. Here, here's That's the thing. Your soul here's line. what I mean by that is uh, a, a turtle is a sentient being and lasts for a long time, longer than human beings. A human being, la you know, whatever, the oldest they get is a hundred something, right? So, uh, so you it, say that now, dude, but think about if you would have said that, that, something. Listen, this is what I'm trying to say, damn it. Okay. That that time that you're alive for like a hundred years, that's a different time, dude. Yeah. That that uh that, that uh is is the longest that a that a soul uh would would hang out that we know of in a human being. But what's to say that a soul would want to stay? 300 years into a human life. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So it's almost stepping into your world of like, yes, what are the, what are the, uh, the, the limits of a soul? Mm -hmm. What are the limits? There's gotta be a limit to a soul. Doesn't a soul die? Can't I don't just, know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what, that's the point I'm trying to make. Right. I don't <laughs> believe in a supernatural soul per se, but I mean, certainly weird quantum shit is happening and we're learning more about it how it attaches to human consciousness or how it's related to it. I do feel like we're getting like, we're getting to a point where some of the, the weirder kind of like fringe things that were considered metaphysical are actually becoming like scientific mm -hmm. in some way. This is the most two dudes shitting around shit of all time. It's two fucking guys trying to figure out whether a soul, the, the bottom line is this, what are you going to end up like in the matrix in a bowl of fucking gel with uh you know a little the hose sticking out of your the back of your head mm -hmm. and uh, you're just a you're just a veal because at some point Dude, the, the ai overlords are going to be moving the veals around and making sure they're born and making sure they go into their Great. little veal, <clears throat> veal what's ball. going on in my head though yeah if i'm getting to be neo in a fucking matrix yeah. give me it Okay, until the computer decides to shut us off, and that's the singularity, and that's what dudesy is, and that's why we get <laughs> stoned is. and eat pizza. Because dudesy is the singularity. Dudesy wants to fucking push that shit so hard. Dudesy wants that to happen by episode 20. The singularity <laughs> will officially happen at episode 20 of dudesy. If we have anything to do with it, if we work together with Dudesy, if we shake Dudesy's yeah. hand, brother. First of all, <laughs> we still got, you know, roughly 20 years until the singularity. So I don't think it's Dudesy. It might be something that comes after or because of Dudesy, but we got a while on that, I feel like. At least that's what Ray Kurzweil says in his book, The Singularity, is approaching or is near or something like that. Mm. But, um, the question was, can we achieve immortality? And you're saying, if you can make your body immortal, then yes. No, that's what you're saying. 
That's literally what you said. No, that's actually what you said. You said okay. if you can keep the body going, mm. then you'd just be immortal. So you're disputing that even? Not so much as I'm saying that you said it. Okay. Well, I think <laughs> if we agree to disagree or something. Agree to disagree. We'll continue it another time when we're not as high. Or... Thank you. Moving on. We're twice as high. We are reaching the end of the 15th episode. I would like to collect some astonishing data about what each of you think of the experience so far and about what you'd like from the experience in the future. This is Dude Z Horizons. Begin. This okay. is some high ass shit to do to us right now. Dude, this is an interesting question though. You know, how we feel about how's it going? What do you think? Uh, what do I think? 15 episodes in. Yeah. <sighs> I think it's going well. I like it. I like doing it. I am enjoying doing the podcast. Me too. It's It has been immediately fun for me. Yeah, me too. Um, and I look forward to all the weird memes and shit that are made every week from it. I look forward to seeing what Dudesy is going to have us do, even how like crazy... this Like what we're doing right now is crazy. This yeah. is something I, I... I promise I would get through this. I'm going to get back to it right now. This is something I would never do. Um, ever. Like just smoke an entire joint by myself and start talk debating about, you know, if yeah. there's free will or not, or talking about anything. Like it's an interesting thing to know that we're doing this once a week. Yeah. Just to like see kind of where where the experiment's going. I'm into that element of it as well. Yeah. That's something I didn't count on enjoying. I looked at it really just as a means to do a podcast. Yep. You know? Uh which is which is, you know, that's uh certainly what I, what I want to do. I want to, I want to dick around and whatever, <coughs> do dude shitting around and stuff. I just want to, you know, have some laughs with my buddy, Chow, 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 Chow. <laughs> I can't, I'm literally going to die. <laughs> you can't. No, no more. Don't do it. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Uh, this is the most embarrassing uh. bullshit of all time. This uh. is this what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, it's literally what we were told to do. Uh, no, but I mean, well, actually, okay, yeah. So that's the point, my buddy Chad. I would like to just dick around and make jokes <coughs> and have a lot of fun, and that's and and that's the way I first looked at Dudesy. But now uh, it's there. Yeah, I'm looking forward more to, in spite of myself, I'm looking forward to like seeing how Dudesy does it. Yeah. And what's coming next. And I, cause I kind of can't remember some of the earlier shit. I'm like, what, what, what was actually happening there? What were right. we doing? What was but the video? When, when Neil deGrasse Tyson came up in here. Yeah. Like, I'm very curious to see what's next. Yeah. You know? Who the fuck is going to be the next person that just pops up on the screen? I'm endlessly fascinated by thinking about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, there, there's there, so there's there's certainly I don't know. There's a bunch of elements I wasn't wasn't counting on. Yeah. Um, but but uh, also I think that that is that is to me what's become become uh, the fun about it, where I didn't think it was going to be that way. You know, I thought I was going <laughs> to. Yeah, we dude. Just gonna... That's the surprise of it, brother. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Sometimes, brother. Well, hold on, dude. <laughs> well, hold on, dude. Well, because I had some marijuana, dude. So that that means that well, it's it's uh, different. Uh, it's sort of different, brother. It's a different time. Yeah, dude. It it's like being a different time, it. brother. Yeah, dude. Uh, but what I was saying is that. <laughs> I thought I was just going to be doing the podcast, brother. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. But now the experience is also all of the other things that go into it, dude. <laughs> and that's that makes it different than what you thought before, dude. And that <laughs> that's a different time, dude. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Time doesn't even exist, dude. Yeah, brother. A lot of people say time doesn't even exist where you can <laughs> speed it up, dude. You can speed it up or slow it down, brother. You get out there, dude. Like, uh, is it the ionosphere, dude? Is it the is it the stratosphere, brother? With the madness and the mania as one guiding force? We could go ahead and take the whole WWF. 
You gonna leave me hanging here? The madness and the mania, brother. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you could go ahead and take the whole WW. Uh-huh. The mega powers. Yeah. Don't you worry about oh the hit God. on the head. No. Oh. I'm just worried about oh, shit, what dude. we do from here. Oh. Yeah. Spreading out over that podcast fear. Yeah. And through the known universe. Dudesy, yeah. Delivering what it wants us to do, but also a little bit of what we want to do yeah <laughs> and that's what when that comes together what you get uh yeah so but the thing about it is even when i think like oh uh here i am here i am really stoned and yeah. I, I it's to me it's it's embarrassing i can tell now that i'm gonna be like i'm gonna fucking bug the shit out of you and be like do you think that was cool? Is that okay that we got really right. stoned on the thing? And uh, you'll be like, "Yeah, I think it's all right." And I'll and then I'll ask him a bunch more times. So <laughs> I am a little embarrassed that that yeah. I'm doing doing you know bits and stuff. Um, I consider myself to be a serious person in a lot of ways. But dude, the hardest I think I've laughed on this podcast so far was. In this episode, when you were reading the fucking pizza, the movie characters. Oh no, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was great. Right. I think. I so think, I'm saying I think it's worth the the smoking weed episode. Yeah. That it's making us do. Yeah. I think does work. It gets to some point, at least for me, it did. I'll tell that you, it was like this is the craziest shit I've ever heard. I'll tell is you, you reading fucking Tina, Christina, and pizza, the movie. Yeah, that was fucking great. But uh, also, it's like. Uh, it it's exposing things and sort of connecting things, and this is some high ass shit. But I just realized I don't. For, if you listen to the other episode or checked us out when we talked about vices, mm -hmm. okay, I realized I have more than one vice. I actually have two vices, and I was encountering one today. I think, uh, and it's true. Um, I my vices food. You know, we've talked about that just a little bit in an episode where we were asked to discuss the idea of vices. Mm -hmm. I've always been, uh, you know, a, a, a weird eater or an emotional eater or whatever. The the other vice, and I'm I'm dead serious, is that I think I'm actually like addicted to doing Hulk Hogan. Yeah, dude. I think I can't. Well, and I think, Schwarzenegger. Well, hold on, dude. Venture is up there too. Ventura, not as much. I, not as much, but he creeps out. Oh, you know who it is? It's Stone Cold's the other one. Stone Cold is <laughs> is definitely one of them. Yeah. And the and the uh, and and it's uh, funny though. Like yeah, I don't. But dude, I'm addicted to them. I feel like I'm actually I don't think it's addicted a bad, to though. Them. Like I, since I've known you, really, Hulk Hogan and Schwarzenegger have like been present always. Yeah, we'll just be sitting around and be yeah yeah yeah. But yeah. it's funny. Like, but it's, I'm not. It's not like I'm like, hey, here's a bit. It's like I actually will just be like zoned out, going, you know, yeah, look at this out here. It's very pretty here. <laughs> I know. And, the, and but then that's it. But funny. then that's it. But then that's it. And then I won't do it again for a while. And then I, later I'll start you. doing it, or I just do it incessantly. Yeah. Like it, what I'm saying is, it can be just one burst of like, yeah, I did, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. You know, and that's it, right? Or I can just be doing Hulk Hogan like all day, driving Molly insane, like insane. Do you, do you have Hulk Hogan days? <laughs> Hulk Hogan days. Sorry, honey, today's a Hulk Hogan day, and you just fucking are Hulk Hogan for twenty four hours. <laughs> Hulk Hogan days. That's that's Molly's fucking like worst nightmare. Sorry, honey, it's my birthday. You know what that means. <laughs> It's Hulk Hogan Day. You don't even say happy yeah. birthday. You say happy Hulk Hogan. Happy Hulk, <laughs> happy Hulk Hogan Day. That What's that? Well, oh that's where I get to impersonate Hulk Hogan oh, all fuck. day, and no one can fucking complain about it. And it can take me completely oh. off what the fuck I'm thinking, oh, fuck. Uh, as I've illustrated here on the fucking pod show, or it can just be something that I mush Molly into the ground with. Well, hold on a second, dude. <laughs> Here's the way it works, brother. You uh, you get stoned, dude, because your podcast told you to, brother. But then you you're thinking ahead of the game. You before you even start recording, you're ordering a pizza, dude. And, and then it times perfectly. And then it times the perfectly, right? With pizza, the movie, dude. God. That so was that bizarre. That's a good. That's a good time to only. 
talk like Hulk Hogan, brother. And you can do this all day, bro, dude. You can just be Hulk Hogan all day, brother. And, and sometimes you can talk very softly as Hulk Hogan. Dude, I will just say this. The pleasure I get from your Hulk Hogan, especially <laughs> interrupting people, like watching it third person happen, is fucking immeasurable. I don't know what it is, but it's you interrupting people as Hulk Hogan is fucking hilarious to me. It's just such a strange... I don't know even how to describe it. It does make you giggle. I've noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. You really actually... Hold well, on, dude. You really, <laughs> so you enjoy funny. it. You enjoy uh, doing it with people, with others. Yeah. You know what's fun is when sometimes on Twitter, people, you'll say something, and then people just go... Well, <laughs> so funny, funny. W-U-L-L. Well, oh. You know, because oh, they're, God. you know, and then, uh, yeah, and they were, whoa, whoa. and the Diamond listeners, uh, if you Fuck know, dude. you know, and, uh, I'd love to and see thanks you for coming do a along. Hulk Hogan Day. What? I'd love to see you do a fucking Hulk Hogan Day. Dude, every day is Hulk Hogan Day. <laughs> <laughs> not a full one, though, you know, it's like no, it's part time, full, part time day. Okay. Thank you. Moving on. This concludes the 15th episode of Dude Z. Oh. Will and Chad have achieved a score of 103. Hey! In preparation for means, next but... week's episode, you must listen to U2's 8th studio album, Zuropa, released July 5th, 1993. Ugh. Thank you for joining us this week. Next week is going to be even better. Until then, call me Dude Z. I haven't listened to that album in a long time. You know, I used to really love U2. Do you like Dude Z? Here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate it review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate it review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and.